हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज दीप शिखा एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल द ब्लिसफुल डायरी हियर आई मोस्टली टॉक अबाउट माय होम एंड माय प्लांट्स इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल शेयर विद यू हाउ इजीली आई हैव क्रिएटेड द वर्टिकल गार्डन सेटअप ऑन माय बालकनी माय बालकनी इज नॉट वेरी टाइनी इवन दो I don't want to clutter the space with too many plants. I always prefer to have free walking and sitting space on my balcony. But again, I have too many plants and I want to accommodate them here. So, what to do then? How to keep so many plants and still have enough space? The answer is by utilizing the vertical space. I already have a three-tier iron plant stand installed in one corner of my balcony. Here, I can keep so many plants together. It is convenient, saves a lot of space and looks beautiful just like a mini jungle. Also, to have a stand like this makes the watering very easy. I can water many plants in one go. the excess water can drop down easily and also makes the cleaning part hassle free no mud stains on the floor this is such a relief i also have this hook planters in the railing of my balcony this is another way to use vertical space very smartly i can place as many plants as i want looks great and saves again a lot of space this side of my balcony is sorted but the other side needs attention today i am going to create a small diy vertical garden on the other side of my balcony and i will walk you all through the entire process Before creating a vertical garden, we should always keep the basics right. That is having a proper soil mixture. For the vertical garden, I am using a soil mixture that contains a good amount of cocoa peat. Cocoa peat makes the soil porous, light and helps retain the soil moisture for a long time. For my DIY vertical garden, I am using this wire mesh that I already have. Although this wire mesh is not for hanging plants, but I will upcycle it to a plant hanger by using some tricks. These are some IKEA hook planters that I purchased recently. Keeping in mind the idea of my vertical garden. You can always go ahead and purchase the wire mesh that is typically made for gardening purposes. There are plenty available online. I just hung the wire mesh on the wall with the help of a strong macrame thread. The hook on the wall is also strong enough to hold up to 8 kg. I also have some hooks installed on the front top part of my bag. For hanging two pots in one hook, I have given the first pot a certain length by tying it with a strong thread. It goes first in the hook and then the second one. Likewise, I have done for all the hanging plants. As these hooks are strong enough, I am going to have two plant pots in one hook. a great utilization of vertical space now it's time to decorate my wire mesh with plants you can see here that the hook of this planter is bigger than the gaps in the wire mesh to solve this problem i am making a cut here so that it fits easily in between the gaps and gets a very good grip Tada! 
these hook planters are looking just perfect here. What do you think? Do let me know in the comment section. Here the plants are going in their respective pots. This is the final look of all the vertical setups in my bucket. This place is a piece of heaven and I enjoy my time here. Hope this video inspired you to create your vertical garden and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, do hit the like button, comment and share the video with others. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not yet. Thank you so much for watching till the end.